Hello, I hope you're having a fantastic time ahead of the Christmas holidays. With the upcoming release of the latest remaster set, Ravnica Remastered, the roster of the sealed products has now been revealed and we're having a look at what's inside of a collector booster. Collector boosters contain all of the wonderful card versions, arts, and new finishes that a set has to offer. And each Magic the Gathering remaster set reintroduces unique cards and card variants, resulting in specific card variants in the different slots of each collector booster. Now, although card cosmetic versions vary, the cards are always mechanically identical. In addition, every expansion brings changes to the contents of each collector booster. Now, this is yet another remaster set, and this time the theme is Ravnica, spanning across 16 years of Magic the Gathering. A remaster set means that all of the cards in this set are reprints of older cards. Therefore, whenever you open a booster pack, its contents will be a reprint of powerful and fun cards all themed around the plane of Ravnica. It is important to know that since they are draft boosters, some cards and rarities have been shifted to allow for a better draft experience. The main set contains a total of 292 cards, 111 commons, 90 uncommons, 71 rares, and 20 mythics. This includes all the different card variants and versions as well. Before we begin, do keep in mind that all percentages and chances are only indicative of the full print run and you can be very lucky or unlucky when opening your own products. So what exactly is in each slot of collector boosters of the Ravnica Remastered expansion? Each collector booster contains a grand total of 15 playable cards. In the first slot you get four traditional foil commons. This set contains a total of 100 common cards that can be found in the slot with the usual foiling found in magic cards. In the second slot, you get three traditional foil uncommons. This expansion contains a total of 80 uncommon cards found in the slot, also with the usual foiling. In the third slot, you'll find a traditional foil land or an artifact. Now make note that there are no basic lands in Ravnica Remastered, and the basic land slot in Collector Boosters has been replaced with a mana slot that can contain one of the following cards, either of the 10 Guild Gates with a 58% chance or one every other booster pack, 10 Signets with a 33% chance or about one in every three packs, and 10 Shock Lens or a Chromatic Lantern with a 9% chance or about 1 in 11 packs. These will all be in the traditional foil treatment. In the fourth slot, you'll find two non-foil retrofring commons and or uncommons. Retrofring cards are back again with their beautiful old borders. There are a total of 135 retrofring cards in the Ravnica Remastered set. That is 25 commons, 36 uncommons, 58 rares, and 16 mythics. The important distinction from previous remaster sets is that some retrofring cards will only be available in collector boosters either because they are some are too weak, too strong, or champion not well represented strategies in the set for the limited format. On the screen you'll be able to see all of the collector exclusive retrofring cards. Also, the Pack Rat card does not have a normal frame in this expansion, and its retro frame version is only present in collector boosters in foil or non foil, while the Borderless Anime version is available in both draft and collector boosters, also in foil and non foil. In this slot, the card can be two of the following. 24 non-foil retrofring commons with a 55.81% chance or about one in every other pack, one non-foil collector booster exclusive retrofring common with a 2.33% chance or about one in 43 packs. 26 non-foil retrofring uncommons with a 30.23% chance or about one in every three boosters. 10 non-foil collector booster exclusive retrofring uncommons with a 11.63% chance or about one in just over eight packs. In the fifth slot, you'll find one traditional foil retrofring common or uncommon. It can be one of the following. 24 traditional foil retrofring commons with a 58.1% chance or just over one in every other booster. 
one traditional foil collector booster exclusive retro free in common with a 2.3% chance or about 1 in 43 packs, 26 traditional foil retro frame uncommons with a 30.2% chance or about 1 every 3 packs, 10 traditional foil collector booster exclusives retro frame uncommons with an 11.63% chance or 1 in just over 8 packs. In the 6th slot, you'll be able to find one traditional foil, rare, or mythic rare. It can be any of the following, all in the traditional foil treatment. 60 traditional foil rares with an 88% chance, or just over 8 out of 10 boosters. And 5 traditional foil mythics with a 12% chance, or 1 in 8 packs. In the 7th slot, you'll find one non-foil retro frame rare or mythic rare. These are any of the previously shown cards that are rare or mythic, with the following chances. 51 non-foil retro frame rares with a 76.1% chance or just over 7 out of 10 packs. 7 non-foil retro frame collector booster exclusive rares with a 13.6% chance or 1 in 7 packs. 13 non-foil retro frame mythics with a 7.3% chance or 1 in just over 13 boosters and 3 non-foil retro frame collector booster exclusives mythic rares with a 3% chance or 1 in every 33 packs. In the S slot, you can find one non-foil boardless rare or mythic. There are a total of 40 boardless cards in Ravnica Remastered. That's 23 rares and 17 mythics. Just like boardless cards beforehand, the art in them is alternate and it goes top to bottom, side to side and behind the text box. Ravnica Remastered brings back the boardless anime version styles that were published in the Wilds of Eldraine Enchanting Tales. There are a total of 30 boardless cards in the anime art style inspired by the War the Spark history and set. Now the anime boardless version is the same as that card in a boardless treatment with illustrations made by Japanese artists bringing to life an anime theme treatment for iconic cards of the plane of Ravnica. Furthermore, the 10 color combinations of Shocklands also come into boardless treatment. In this slot, you'll be able to find 32 non foil boardless anime rares with a 52% chance or one in every other pack. Two non foil boardless anime planeswalker mythics with a 5.5% chance or about one in 18 packs. 11 non-foil boardless anime mythics with a 15% chance of 1 in 6 packs and 10 boardless shockland rares with a 27.5% chance or 1 in just over 3 packs. In the 9th slot you can find one traditional foil retro frame rare or mythic rare or a traditional foil boardless rare or mythic or a serialized card. Serialized cards are back again with the retro frame double rainbow foil treatment. Now this is the first time we are actually seeing serialized cards in a remastered set. There are a total of 64 retro frame rares and mythics serialized out of 500 appearing in a double rainbow foil version. These appear only in collector boosters and will have a chance of 1% or 1 in every 1000 packs. The remainder of the cards in this slot can be found in the following chances. 51 traditional foil retro frame rares with a 55.2% chance or about 1 in every other pack. 13 traditional foil retro frame mythic rares with a 5.3% chance or about 1 in just over 18 packs. 7 traditional foil retro frame collector booster exclusive rares with a 10.6% chance or 1 in 9 packs. 3 traditional foil retro frame collector booster exclusive mythics with a 2.1% chance or 1 in just over 47 packs. 17 traditional foil boardless anime rares with a 13.4% chance or 1 in 7 packs. 2 traditional foil boardless anime planeswalker mythic rares with a 1.4% chance or about 1 in 71 packs. 
11 traditional foil boardless anime mythics with a 4% chance or 1 in 25 packs and 10 traditional foil boardless shocklands rares with a 7% chance or 1 in 14 packs. The last slot you'll be able to find the usual traditional double sided foil token. Now this brings us to a total of 4 to 5 retro frame cards, 2 to 4 boardless cards, 4 to 5 of rarity rare or mythic cards that can be found per pack. There are also a total of 4 to 8 commons and 3 to 7 uncommons per pack and each pack will contain 11 traditional foil cards. Collector boosters are ideal for collectors of specific sets. They are also a great gift to purchase for anyone interested in giving their special someone who loves Magic the Gathering a fantastic gift. Each booster box will contain a total of 12 collector booster packs. So this was it for our video, we'll be making more videos to explain all the other products in the Ravnica Remastered expansion, and stay tuned to our channel where we will unbox one of each type of these products here. For those that celebrate them, we wish you lovely holidays and we hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and sub to the channel as it helps out small channels like ours a lot and do let us know what you're most excited about in this expansion or if you have any comments or questions in the comments down below as we read and reply to every one of them. Be good, be kind, have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!